Hi there, I'm going to take you through a couple of the geoprocessing tools um, in ArcMap um, in this video. Um, the first one we're going to look at is called Clipping um, and it's designed again for, for making selections and, and extracting data out of larger data sets. Um, I'm going to use this um, boundary here which is for a designated area um, of, of area of outstanding natural beauty, the high wield, um, as my area that I'm going to clip. Um, I'm just going to load some other data in um, and, and explain how this works. So what I'm going to do is load in um, some ancient woodland um, data set there. Um, you can see that the, the data is much larger than the area that I'm actually working on. Um, so I want to use the geoprocessing tool called Clipping to clip it just to the boundary of this area of outstanding natural beauty. Um, main reasons for doing this is to make the data set much smaller um, and more manageable to use um, really but also if you want to do some sort of calculation on an area uh, basis you need to ha have the data for that specific area rather than having a load of superfluous and extra data and um, so those are kind of the two main reasons for using this clipping tool um, so to, to activate the tool I'm going to simply go up to the geoprocessing menu um, and choose the clip tool um, and then this will bring up this next dialog box. Um, the first thing I need to do is choose the input feature and this is the this is again gives me some detail across the side here. Um, this is the feature to be clipped um, which in this case is going to be the ancient woodland um, which I know is is that um, particular layer there. Just wait for that to update um, and then I need to um, choose the feature used to clip the input feature. So this, this again is going to be the boundary, the AOMB, so it's the high wield um, is what I'm going to clip it to. Um, and then because this is a non-destructive tool it's going to create a new uh, feature class um, with the clip data inside it. Um, so I need to just choose an output name um, and browse to the geo database to put it inside. So I'm just going to browse to my geo database. Um, <coughs> Just going to pop it in this one for now. And I'm just going to name it um, and then save that. Um, so that's updated now to the output feature class and I'm going to click OK. And with any luck that should then clip the data. And then it will reload the clipped version back into my map view here. And this will take several minutes depending on how long the data or how large the data is. It could take um, it could take quite a few minutes if you're if you're working on a very large data set. So there we go. The clippers um, confirmed. There we get the, the the standard little box saying that the clipper's been confirmed. Um, and we notice up here that we've now got a new layer, um, which is actually the clipped layer. Um, so we can now turn off um, the old layer, and now we see um, the new clipped layer, which has been clipped exactly to the boundary um, that we chose to clip it to. Um, so one thing to be aware of when you're using this clipping tool that it literally does cut completely off um, at the edges. So if you've got polygons, for example, in this data set we had woodland polygons that extended outside the boundary, they would have been completely cut um, using this tool. Um, so that's something to be aware of. So here, for example, um, if I just switch on, um, you can see that that one actually... Um, you can see that some of these over here particularly, um, that's a bigger polygon which has now been cut um, because it intersects the boundary there. So that's something to be aware of if you choose to use this tool. Um, but there are particular reasons why you might want to, to get exact results for areas within a particular um, bigger area. So, so that's the that's reason for possibly using this tool. Um, so that's a reasonably straightforward tool there for, for clipping data and, and making data more manageable um, and for potentially using it for doing calculation purposes as well.